Shalom, this is Gmail Solid Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Rakan Kodash, double honors to the elder apostle, great millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there spreading this word and sincerity and truth all over the four corners of the earth. I want to do a, a new series. You know, I always come up with these series, you know. <laughs> Well, Jake, Jake, the brothers, the, the brothers, man, brothers got all kinds of series, man. GMS Lunch Break, GMS Spiritual Waters, Episode 1, 2, 3, you name it, man. You know? GMS On The Road, me, myself, got uh, GMS In-Depth, In-Depth Videos, what else? Message to the Watchman. So I want to start this new, this new um, series, you know, of uh, edification, Yara Taza, concerning the videos, which I want to name, visualize the vision. Which in these series, I'm gonna do my best to visualize the visions that have been seen by the prophets and the men of the Lord. Uh, in the Bible You know when When I go into the study sessions with brothers I want to show them What Is being uh, uh, Talked about I want to I want to link The scriptures to something that is Like um, uh, uh, Able to refer to To what the prophet is seeing Because why The prophets had visions and these visions were things that they never seen before. For example, the nuclear missiles was something they had to describe in words that were then not available that we use now. For example, the prophets didn't know about nuclear missile. The prophets didn't know about uh, 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 rockets and, and uh, uh, missile silos or... Uh, the word UFO The prophets didn't know about that So guess what They used They used to describe the things To the best of their ability Same thing with the UFOs The chariots We use the word UFO But guess what The scriptures The, the prophets described it as clouds Why Back in those days you, The only thing that you would see in the cloud uh, it's like the only thing you would see in the skies was clouds, birds, you know, um, and whirlwinds. But you wouldn't you wouldn't say UFO man, unidentified flying object. They wouldn't use a word like that. So nowadays, for the people that basically lack understanding. It, it seems to be fake That's why you got people out there nowadays That say like um, Yeah the Bible doesn't speak about UFOs Or yeah the Bible doesn't speak about America Where do you see the word America It doesn't have to have the word America It doesn't have to have the word UFO It doesn't have to have the word nuclear missile Because they didn't have those words back in those days So that's you're not going to find that you're not going to find that simple You know So the prophets They described it to the best of their ability And now Then it becomes our task To put, to visualize What they have seen Now I'm a, I'm a type of person When you explain something to me Or when you When you talk about a certain story Or bring out a certain story I see everything in images. I see everything in image or in videos. It came to the point that, it even came to the point that a, a, a certain person was talking about the situation that that he had and uh, um, without describing the people that was in it, I could see and know what the people looked like because I just tried to visualize what was going on. So eventually, while the story was being told, I said like, 
So this guy you're talking about, did he have a bald head? Yeah, he had a bald head. And the other guy, did he have long hair? Yes, he had long hair. And, you know, these things happen very often to me because I'm trying to see, even though, you know, sometimes it's just like, could be coincidence or whatever, but I'm trying to see what you have seen. If you explain something to me, I'm trying to see what you see or what you saw in that, in that instance. So when we read the scriptures, I'm trying to put everything in images. I'm trying to visualize what the prophets saw. So y'all read the psalm, man, it's going to be edifying, you know, and, and uh, uh, like the scripture says, uh, or like, like they say in the world, I hope it will shine some light upon you because sometimes you be like, um, <sighs> that doesn't even make any sense. Like, why would the prophet say something like that? The same thing goes for this scripture. The scripture right here, where it basically all started with, which is Joel chapter 2, verse 5. The brother, we, we was in a study session, and the brother told me, like, I don't know or I can't see why this is referring to the nuclear missiles. Why would why would the prophet say that it's like chariots leaping over over um, over the tops of mountains? So that got me thinking and then I brought out this video that I'm gonna play in an instance I'm gonna play it but um, I have to be uh, cautious with it actually I'm you know as I speak I'm still thinking if I'm gonna play it because you know the strikes might put a uh, pop up but then what I saw with this video is that an, un an unknown character also placed it upon their channel so why can't i you know so um so what i'm gonna do is uh, I'm, I'm just gonna play it you know i'm gonna drop off something real quick here and then i'm gonna continue so if it if it sounds like um, you know i repeat certain things it's lucky for that you know but i'm gonna play it in a in an instant you know First, I'm going to read the scripture. Okay, so this is um, Joel. Let me see. Joel chapter 2, verse 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Now, this is referring to the nuclear missiles. Like I already said... The prophet, Joel, he tried to describe it to the best of his ability. It's like, okay, these are moving things on a quick speed, on a quick pace. Things that moved in a quick pace back in, back in those days were horses. You had also uh, camels and uh, donkeys, but they weren't used as, as uh, uh, vehicles. So what did the prophet say? He said they are like horses because they went fast. He saw the nuclear missiles in the skies with the trail behind them, which if you look at horses, you know, in the desert, running in the desert, you would also see a trail behind them. You know, if you look from a dis distance, you see the, uh, the horse being small and, um, and a trail behind them, which I'm going uh, to uh, break that down and make uh, that the part two of the series this is my point that I want to uh, base this lesson upon which is verse 5 like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong as a strong people set in battle array that's so that what, what the prophet is describing there is how the missiles is gonna appear in the skies. So let's say you were American citizen and you see all these missiles come upon the land or come over the land, the sky is gonna be full of full of nuclear missiles, man. You can't fathom it, and that's why 
the prophet was like, it's like a, a whole army that's approaching, like the, 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 the spirit that he was in while he saw that was like, he was amazed. He was like, it's like a whole army of, of men with power that have never been the alike. It's like horses, they're running, they're approaching this land and they leap, you know, they come down and while they land, it's like a flame of fire that is devouring everything in front of them. You know, but he described them as, as as chariots that are leaping over the mountain. So I was, uh, so the brother asked me like, why why does it say that? I don't understand why why it's saying this. You know, why do, does the prophet describe it as chariots leaping over a mountain? You know, I believe the brother was thinking about leaping. You know, like like the Hulk, how he leaps through the sky, and he was like and. I believe the brother had in his mind uh, the, the the chariots, the UFOs. But this is actually talking about normal chariots. You know, the uh, the prophet is actually referring to normal chariots. You know, with with uh, a rider. Uh, you know, and uh, and horse in front of it, or horses. Sometimes two horses. Sometimes multiple horses. Actually, like four or six. You know, that's what they had in the in the Greek Empire. Six horses in front of it. But that makes you uh, less. Um, I'll say that it makes you less. Um, how can I say it? Agile, because it's, it's multiple horses. The more horses you have um, in front of a chariot, the the more difficult it is to uh, to control it. So anyway. I was thinking about it and then I thought about this thing from my from my childhood you know I saw this movie called uh, Mulan and in that movie Mulan there was a, a scene wherein you saw a whole army of men coming over the mountaintop and if you think about that you're gonna see what I mean and, and how uh, the prophet Joel Describe this 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 moment uh, this vision to the best of his ability and then you're gonna understand You know by the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai That he's referring to these missiles So y'all wrote this out man. I'm gonna play this this clip and uh, Like I said y'all wrote this out man. It's not gonna be uh, uh, removed uh, I hope it doesn't get a strike, you know, but it will stay on for the edification of the people you know so after the video i'm gonna close it out i want to give all praises glory and the highest honor to yahweh basham yahushai basham wakakudash shalom to the elect and like i said man i'm gonna you know with the with the with the will of yahweh basham yahushai make more of these videos that wherewith you can visualize you know what actually happened <clears throat> and by the way if it's not uh allowed to be played the link of this uh, of that video of that scene is gonna be in the description box you know for brothers to watch and then I just take a mug shot a screenshot <laughs> mug shot I will take a screenshot of the of the of the picture you know of the thing that I'm talking about and then brothers can look it up themselves and like I said also in the upcoming series you know I might as well use pictures you know uh, to uh, to show what I mean so it doesn't get taken down if it gets taken down it won't so uh, I'm gonna play the clip right now
So yeah, Akiam, a hey, beautiful man. If I look at it, <laughs> the prophet saw this man, but then missiles, and he described it. He linked it to this. He was like, it's like a, it's like an army that is about to come down upon upon the land and devour the people with fire, man. Great army, mighty men that were never the like, and shall never be hereafter, like the scripture says. So I hope you know it was edifying with that. Say shalom.